Hey team, welcome to this 30 day video challenge where I'm gonna release 30 games in 30 days. These games are games that you can play with your team at any time. Some of them include skills, some of them include conditioning, and honestly, some of them are just tag games that you can play with your team. So make sure you tune in every single day this month where I'm gonna release a new video with a brand new game. And before we get started, I'm Coach Hart, this is Building Better Baseball, and this is the best place for baseball education. So let's get into this 30-day video challenge. I'm super excited to bring you these games. Let's get started. Hi there, welcome to day four of this 30-day challenge. And day four's game, it's called Rock, Paper, Scissors, Base Running. And it's a very simple game that's gonna work on conditioning and a lot of base running. And it's also fun for the younger kids. And that gets me to the ages. I would say maybe 10 and below, 10 years old and below. If you do this above that age, I mean, they're just kind of getting more mature and Rock, Paper, Scissors is kind of just like a, almost like a juvenile game, you know what I mean? Um, if you would like to try and play it with your older kids and you think that they would have fun with it, by all means, do your thing. But I know that when I play this in my school, um, I usually do it with the younger grades. They have a lot more fun with it. Uh, the older grades kind of get a little bored with it. But you can make your own decision for your team. And as far as the equipment needed, there is no equipment needed. It's all about running and the kids are just gonna be running around. They don't need a glove, they don't need a ball, they don't need anything. All you need is the field and some bases. Where you're gonna play, Hopefully you have the infield available and you're gonna play in the infield rounding the bases. If you want to, you can drop some bases out in outfield and play a game there if you're doing something in the infield. But ideally you want all four bases to play at. And how you play, it's very simple. You're gonna have a group at each base. You choose, let's say you're at second base. You choose someone who is at second base and you play rock, paper, scissors with them one time. If you win, if you win the rock, paper, scissors game, then you run to the next base. All right, so if you're at second base, you would run to third. If you're at third, run home all the way around, right? You would run to the next base if you win, okay? If you lose, you stay at the base you're at. So if I'm at second base and I just lost, then I would stay at my base and I would choose someone else who's at my second base. The only time that I run to the next base is if I win a game. So technically, you could have someone lose all of their games and they don't leave the base. That would be really unfortunate and that would kind of defeat the purpose of the game of conditioning and running, but that's just the way the game is played. And if you tie, you would just play again. So if you tie, you would keep on playing until somebody wins. And if you win, run to the next base. Um, you get you can do a point system. If you wanted to do every base that you run to, that's a point, and you can do individual points. And by the end of the game, you can see who got the most points. Um, you could also do something like, if you really want someone to run and you really wanna focus on that running part, you could say that if you lose the game, then you run to the opposite base and that does not count as a base. So let's erase this and let's just say that we are at second base, okay? We play rock, paper, scissors. You win, I lose. You would go to this third base and get a point if you're doing a point system and I would run to the opposite base and I would not get a point. That way you could still have everybody running on every single game of rock, paper, scissors. The one thing that might happen is you might have someone by themselves at a base if you don't have a big team. If you have 12 people and there's three people at a base and then two people play the game both of them leave and then I'm just sitting there waiting for somebody to come right so that's just something that you could do you can make that decision yourself but the whole idea behind this game is to get a whole bunch of running in um, and get some conditioning in while they're having fun playing some rock paper scissors it's a different way of conditioning it's a different way of base running so if you win the game you advance to the next base and you get a point if you lose the game, then you stay at the base and you wait for somebody else to come. If you really want people to run, then you can say if you lose, you go to the previous base, right? And you don't get a point. So that's it. That is rock, paper, scissors, base running. It's just something simple and fun. And it's a new little twist that you can put on base running and conditioning. It's a fun game that you can do at the end of a practice or anything like that. It's especially good for the younger kids because they always have so much fun playing rock, paper, scissors, like four years old, five years old, all the way up to 10. Um, the older kids, as you may know now, they might get a little bored with it. They might think it's a little, you know, juvenile, like I said before, but make your choice with your team. And that is day four, rock, paper, scissors, base running. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for day five. Thanks for tuning in. 
So I hope you enjoyed today's game and I hope I explained it in a way that you understand and that you can explain it to your team so you can incorporate it into your practices. This is just another game that you can add to your practice plans to have some fun during your practices with your youth baseball team. Before you go, don't forget to grab your free two hour practice plan. I made it just for you to help you out in your practice plans. And in the description below, you'll also see a free baseball equipment sizing guide. There's how to get more playing time. There's how to do batting practice. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I made for you for free. Be sure to grab it before you go. It's all down in the description. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember, this is Building Better Baseball. I'm Coach Hart, and I'll see you next time.